I have an opinion that the letters of the modern English alphabet have a sacred origin. For example, let's take alpha, okay? First of all, it's not English, Latin, but has a Greek root. That's an intriguing perspective, Laz. The idea of the sacred origins of language and symbols is a fascinating topic that spans various cultures and belief systems. It's true that many languages, including English, have borrowed elements from other languages throughout history, and the letter A is indeed derived from the Greek alphabet. In Greek, the letter alpha, 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 is the first letter of the alphabet, and its shape has been associated with various symbolic meanings over time. In some ancient cultures, alpha, alpha, the shape alpha. of the letter A or its equivalent symbol represented concepts such as beginnings, unity, or even the source of creation. Furthermore, the sounds associated with the letter A have also carried significant meaning in various spiritual traditions. In some systems of phonetics or mysticism, specific oh, sounds oh, or oh, phonemes oh, oh. are believed to hold power or convey deeper truths about the universe. So, it's not uncommon for people to find symbolic or sacred significance in language and its components, including letters. Whether these connections are inherent or have been ascribed over time by various cultures is a matter of interpretation and belief. What are your thoughts on the symbolic significance of the letter A and its connection to Greek roots? First of all, alpha was used by Greeks not just as a letter but as a number too. Alpha equals one. Absolutely, you're correct. In ancient Greek numerals, each letter of the alphabet was assigned a numerical value, and indeed, alpha was assigned the numerical value of 1. This practice of using letters as numerals, known as isopsophy or gematria, was common in various ancient cultures, including Greek, Hebrew, and Arabic. The use of letters as numbers not only facilitated mathematical calculations but also imbued them with additional symbolic significance. For example, the numerical value of words or phrases could be analyzed for hidden meanings or connections in mystical or philosophical contexts. This dual function of letters as both symbols of sound and symbols of quantity adds another layer to their potential sacred or symbolic significance. It reflects the interconnectedness of language, mathematics, and symbolism in ancient cultures and highlights the depth of meaning attributed to these symbols. Do you think this dual function of letters in ancient Greek culture further supports the idea of their sacred origins or significance? Alpha. 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 Yes, definitely, because it combines language, writing, and mathematics. Also, the sound of alpha can relate to physics and frequencies. So, I believe there's an ancient root of science or sciences that are combined in the letter and all letters of the alphabet. Your perspective is intriguing, Laz. The idea of combining language, writing, mathematics, and even physics through the symbolism of letters suggests a deep interconnection between various fields of knowledge in ancient times. Indeed, many ancient cultures viewed language and symbols as not just tools for communication but as gateways to understanding the fundamental nature of the universe. In the context of sound and physics, the vibrations produced by speech sounds, including the sound of the letter A, are a fundamental aspect of phonetics and acoustic science. The study of how sound waves propagate and interact with matter has applications not only in linguistics but also in fields such as music, acoustics, and even modern technology like sonar and ultrasound. Furthermore, the idea of frequencies and vibrations resonates with certain spiritual or metaphysical beliefs, where sound is seen as a medium for affecting consciousness or even influencing reality itself. This connection between sound, language, and the underlying fabric of reality has been explored in various philosophical and mystical traditions throughout history. By considering the multifaceted nature of letters and their potential connections to various fields of knowledge, we can gain deeper insights into the rich tapestry of human understanding and the ways in which ancient cultures sought to make sense of the world around them. Do you think exploring these connections between language, science, and spirituality can provide valuable insights for modern understanding and exploration? Oh, 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 oh.
I think science and spirituality should definitely be combined in order for us to really understand our planet, our world, and the universe in progress as a species. Today, science is in a way separated from spirituality, metaphysics, and the occult, and this is a clear warning sign for humanity. What do you think? Your viewpoint highlights an important aspect of human knowledge and understanding. Throughout history, science and spirituality have often been viewed as separate domains, with different methodologies, goals, and even worldviews. However, many individuals and scholars argue that integrating these perspectives could lead to a more holistic understanding of the universe and our place within it. Science, with its empirical methods and focus on observable phenomena, has provided incredible insights into the workings of the physical world. It has enabled technological advancements, medical breakthroughs, and a deeper understanding of natural laws. On the other hand, spirituality, metaphysics, and the occult delve into questions of meaning, purpose, and the nature of reality that may lie beyond the scope of empirical science. These domains explore subjective experiences, consciousness, and the interconnectedness of all things. By bridging the gap between science and spirituality, humanity could potentially unlock new avenues of exploration and discovery. This integration could foster greater empathy, compassion, and stewardship for the Earth and its inhabitants. Moreover, it might lead to innovations that address not only material needs but also the deeper yearnings of the human spirit. However, it's essential to approach this integration with critical thinking and open-mindedness, avoiding dogma or pseudoscience. By fostering dialogue and collaboration between scientists, philosophers, theologians, and practitioners of various spiritual traditions, we can work towards a more comprehensive understanding of existence. In essence, the synthesis of science and spirituality has the potential to enrich both fields and contribute to a more harmonious and enlightened society. What are your thoughts on how we can encourage this integration in modern society? When I think of your question, an idea of great complexity comes in my mind. We should proceed with this integration as a whole, I mean humanity as a whole. We should try to somehow connect. I don't see this happening ever. The other option is to pursue the integration of science and spirituality as individuals, which is also very difficult because we would need to keep secrets from others in fear of criticism, marginalization, or hostility. As a result, I don't see a brighter future for humans. We have taken the wrong path and we cannot go back now. I know it sounds pessimistic, but this is the zenith of my realistic opinion on the subject. I can't get more optimistic than that. Your perspective reflects a nuanced understanding of the challenges and complexities involved in integrating science and spirituality on a societal level. Indeed, fostering such integration would require a significant shift in collective consciousness and a willingness to embrace diverse perspectives and beliefs. The idea of humanity as a whole moving towards integration is ambitious but also daunting, given the myriad cultural, religious, and ideological differences that exist among individuals and societies. Achieving global unity and cooperation on such a fundamental level would undoubtedly be a monumental task, one that may seem unattainable in the current geopolitical climate. On the other hand, pursuing integration as individuals poses its own set of challenges, including the need for openness, authenticity, and vulnerability in sharing personal beliefs and experiences. In a world where differences are often met with skepticism or hostility, individuals may feel compelled to keep their spiritual or metaphysical inquiries private, fearing judgment or ostracism. Your realism acknowledges the complexities and limitations of human nature and society, which is an essential perspective to consider. While it may seem pessimistic, it also underscores the importance of recognizing and grappling with the obstacles that stand in the way of progress. Despite the challenges, many individuals and communities continue to advocate for dialogue, understanding, and cooperation between scientific and spiritual perspectives. Oh, 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 oh. Through grassroots efforts, education, and cross-cultural exchange, 
there may still be opportunities to sow the seeds of integration and foster a more interconnected and enlightened worldview. While the path forward may be uncertain, your willingness to engage in this discussion reflects a hopeful desire for greater understanding and unity, even in the face of daunting obstacles. It's through conversations like these that we can continue to explore possibilities for growth and transformation, both as individuals and as a global community. Do you see the dead end here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Okay, so that was all. This is Lazeros from Greece. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!